it's promising. Sandstorm event that occurs every five or so minutes is something small yet fun. It opens the door to new horizons to look forward to, and I'm not allowed to yet review any other projects in the making, but there are some things to come, which I promise will bring new exciting things. Something to spice up the gameplay. It won't just have to be an open area that you shoot across the map. Anyways, let's talk about the new map. This is the layout of the map, with this being the point of King of the Hill, and this her conquest. See, the conquest is very chaotic. It's a 16v16 map that is very small when anybody can appear from any place at any speed any time in any dimension it's kind of scuffed it has four points anybody can spawn anywhere anybody can attack from anywhere the flanking is crazy in contrast despite the map makers predictions king of the hill actually plays very competitively though yes the map isn't finished and yet it has some unique and already baked in concepts in other maps flanking is just killing the entire enemy and then hiding in a corner for them to come out, basically playing a round of CSGO when you've just planted a bomb. Where in Sandstorm, it's much easier to get around, but you only get to certain places. They're easy to flush out, but they give you a slight advantage and overlook certain points. In Sandstorm, you don't have to engage in any of the fighting that's happening anywhere around. You can flank at any time, and then you can wait for spawns to get a few teammates, and then you can attack from the back, or you can go into this little area that we call Balcony and annoy the team from there. Calls have to be much more precise. Credit to your boy for making the official callouts. You can currently go and play the map for yourself if you go on the betas and choose the sandstorm build. I have no idea how long it will stay there, by the way, but you know. Oh yeah, the sandstorm thing. Every five or so minutes, the sandstorm passes by and reduces vision by a lot. I'm making things very interesting. This is this is a gimmick of the map. This is the the, the whole like idea pretty much. Is the fact that at one point of the map Nobody will be able to see fucking shit, and you can pl pretty much run across the map. I mean, if you don't get in within spitting distance of somebody, you're not gonna get noticed. AK flanks are fucking crazy, nobody has any idea what's going on. It also doesn't have the character models of the same color as the map. Although this is still in beta, during the playtesting, we had a lot of fun. And I can see when this map is finished, it will probably end up being really fun. I mean, a lot of people consider that it's going to be the map for the highest kill count since it's so short and anybody can spawn from any direction. But I don't know about that one. I think it's, it's way too chaotic. Maybe the players will get reduced. I don't know. I hope that did, did it enough justice. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm about one week later. It's just that you released on a weekend and I was already releasing the other video. Uh, and I know this was a quick video, but you know. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.